What's going on guys? So I just wanted to drop a quick video. Just I was just looking through uh, the internet here to see if there was anything that's, you know, kind of affected the political landscape in this country. But, uh, you know, after the liberals came out with that, their new budget, it was supposed to be, you know, good for everyone and no generation will be left behind and all that. And this was supposed to, in the liberals' minds, kind of move the needle so that more young people start voting liberal again which is usually what they do, but seems like they're going to more, more towards the conservatives and the NDP right now. So the budget 2024 reactions, only 17% said two thumbs up, 40% said two thumbs down, and 43% went, eh, take it or leave it. So they actually have even less support for this budget than they're getting in the polls right now. In the polls right now, they're about 23, 24%. And the approval rating for the budget is only 17%. So it's actually kind of having the opposite effect that the Liberals thought it was going to have. I just want to read down a little bit here. It says some 10% of respondents said the budget would personally help them, while 37% said it would hurt. After again gripping, uh, stripping out those who said they didn't know what the impact would be. That's 10% of people? Sounds like a fringe minority to me, you know what I mean? Then it says, asked about how they'd feel if a federal election were held today, 43% of respondents said they'd pick the Conservatives, while 24 said they'd vote Liberal, followed by 19% who'd lean NDP. So the polls haven't really changed. The Conservatives are still up by you know, 19, 20 points. I have a feeling once people kind of see what's really going on with this budget and how it's not going to help anyone at all, the Liberals are going to probably lose even, even more support. I can see them going down to about 20 now, the problem is, is there's a lot of liberals that will never, ever vote conservative. And they're not going to go to the NDP, so they might just stay put. They're just going to, you know, Trudeau's their guy, and that's just what they're going to do. And I don't know if anything can change their... I mean, if you haven't changed your opinion on Trudeau by now, you know, like, what could he possibly do to make you change your opinion in the future, right? I mean, there's been so many, so many things. And, you know, now you even see him when it is him and, uh, him and Doug Ford had a... They had some announcement about electric cars and they were in Alliston, Ontario. And uh, you can see Trudeau and Doug Ford getting really agitated and irritated with the reporters, even kind of snapping on them just a little bit. So, you know, I think that right now, Justin Trudeau is really feeling the pressure. I think that he is very tense right now. I don't think he's very comfortable asking questions or speaking because I don't think he knows exactly what to do. Now, I've mentioned this before in another video where I think what he's likely going to do is he's probably going to try to introduce some sort of a universal basic income program so that he can essentially buy votes. Vote for me, you're going to get 1800 a month or whatever it's going to be. But you have to understand if you allow this to happen, even if this these stipulations are not written in the bill, I promise you. If you do anything to piss off the government or tr piss off Trudeau, all of a sudden that universal basic income is going to be zero dollars for you. I I go back and forth on whether a universal basic income, if ran properly, would be good. I'm not sure. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section what you think of that. I'm not talking about a UBI program that's ran by Justin Trudeau. I'm just be, like speaking in general. Right, with AI and job automation likely on the, the horizon, there might be a lot of people who are forced out of work. Right, like fast food, I think you're already starting to see it at McDonald's with the, you know, the touch menu. You can pay right there. You don't need cashiers necessarily. And there, there might not be other industries created where they can go and just get another job, right? So for someone like that, you can't just have a bunch of people on the street. That being said, there's also, you know, who pays for the universal basic income. I'm going to make a video in the future kind of breaking that down and um, also analyzing what other people have said about this as well. So, uh, but in the meantime, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. What do you guys think of the 2024 budget that was put out? And how much longer do you think Justin Trudeau has before he finally resigns? Or do you think we're just going to have to wait till an election? Let me know. Again, I always appreciate reading your comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be back with another video.